Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Adam with AK Lighting, here to help you install and or improve your own landscape lighting. Well, in today's video, I'm going to answer the question about how much does the voltage drop if you go 100 feet? So this is a question that I get on my channel a lot and people email me a lot. So I decided to make a video about this and it's, hey Adam, I'm running a wire, a main wire from my transformer to these lights that are really far away and it's about 100 feet. Well, how far can I go with it out being an issue? Meaning how far can I go without the voltage dropping too low that the lights don't even work or they flicker? And so today I'm gonna to answer that question. So I have uh, a run of a transformer in the backyard and I'm running it to the side here in the front yard and it's about 120 feet. And so I'm gonna show you the measurement and then I'm gonna use this tool right here to show you the voltage drops and kind of give you an idea of what to expect if you go 100 feet. And so with that being said, I'm gonna jump right into this video. All right, so here we are at the transformer and I just wanna show you um, what the voltage is here. So we're gonna, use the 12 volt, so tap number one. Now, the interesting thing about transformers is just because it says 12 volts doesn't mean it is actually 12 volts. It just converts the 120 or 120 uh, volts from this outlet and it takes off a zero. So if it's not a zero, it won't be exactly 12 volts. Hopefully that made sense. So 120 to 12. We will see what this is. So this is, I guess it is a 12 volts exactly. Okay, look at that. All right, so it's about 127 feet. Okay, so it's 127 feet. That's over 100 feet. So this would be even better of an example. So if you go over 100, you don't need to worry about it because I'm doing that right now. All right, so I was just at the transformer and it's at 12 volts. And I'm gonna show you a few examples. So we have 12 volts from the transformer coming 100 and about 30 feet. And the first example I'm gonna show you is connecting four lights. So this one, this, and then there's a light over there, and then there's a moonlight. Okay, so only four lights. So we're gonna connect these wires right here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. And so we started out with 12. Let's see how many we get. All right, 10.94. So it dropped one volt, which is really nice. So you need to have the volts at least about nine to 10 volts in order for the bulbs to work properly. And so this is at 11, so this is really good. Now I'm gonna show you what it's like to add about four or five more lights and I have it on this wire right here. Okay, so I have it connected here and it is 9.46. So it dropped another volt and, and probably a half um, because those lights are a little bit farther away over there. And uh, um, and then the last one I'm going to show you is adding up to I think it's 12 lights. So this is a a 12-2 gauge wire. So so far, if you have it um, eight lights at 130 feet away, I would go on the 13 or 14, may, possibly even the 15 volt tap because I like having my volts around 12 instead of nine or 10. I like it around 12. So I would move the volts in the transformer up to that 13, 14, or 15. So let's see, this is 9.46. So if I want it to go to 12, I probably should go up three volts. So I, I probably should put it at the 15 volt. I'll show you right now with it at the 15 volt. Okay, so I'm here at the transformer. Make sure that you unplug it over here. You don't want to electrocute yourself. So we're going to take a flathead screwdriver Unscrew this and move this up to 15 volts. All right, plug it back in. 
plug it back in over here. And I'm gonna head back over. Okay, so we just switched it over to the 15 volt tap and um, I'm testing it out and it looks like, yep, about 12 volts. So if you have eight lights that are 130 feet away, you wanna put in the 15 volt tap so that it can be 12 volts. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what it looks like um, adding just a few more lights onto this. Okay, so I just went around the corner and added a few more lights. So now we have 12. I guess I'll show you them. We have, <clears throat> we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lights on this. And we are down to 10.80. So this works. And this is a pretty good sweet spot. It's almost at 11, which is not very far away from 12 volts. And if you go even further away than uh, 130 feet, like if you go 200 feet, then I would suggest one is a good option of, of getting a thicker gauge wire, like a 10-2 gauge or an 8-2 gauge, or looking to, to put an outlet closer to where you're putting the light so that it can um, be a little bit closer. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found value in this and please ask more questions on my channel. I would love to go over um, how to do certain things and answering your questions. Um, I also have a course that goes over everything that you need to know about landscape lighting. So if you're somebody who is interested in installing your own landscape lighting, then please check that out. And thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.